Yo, what up guys? This is Sticky Fishy Fishing. Just down here today off the beach. Gonna do a little bit of beach fishing. All right, let's get a line out there and see if we can get a few. Just down here today, gonna do a bit of beach fishing. Just got the run in tide. It's about the last hour to run in, so I thought I'd come down and give it a go, see if we can get something. Just got some beach worms here for bait. And here's a little trick that I do to save bait. Is I put a little Berkeley gulp worm on the top hook. Just one of them, that's a Berkeley gulp two inch worm in the camo color. Just one of them on the top and that worm on the bottom. Alright guys, here's the rig I'm using. I'm just using a two hook Paternoska rig. Just got a swivel coming down to a dropper with a Berkeley two inch camo worm on the top hook on a size four bait holder worm hook. And then a bit further down I have another dropper with another size four bait holder worm hook with a bit of real worm. So a bit of fake worm on the top hook, a bit of real worm on the bottom hook, and then a size one star sinker on the bottom. Depends how much current, depends what size sinker you use. But today there's not much swell, so I'm just using a size one. All right, let's get it out there. You don't have to cast out far off the beach, Evie. You just gotta get it behind that first break. The mistake that people make, they try to cast it out a mile and then your line's out too far. The fish are only in close feeding. Because all the stuff washes into the beach, so they're just in behind that first break in the hole there. Let's get it out there and see if we can get one. The reel that I'm using today is a Shimano Bait Runner DL4000 FA with 10 pound mono line. I prefer to use mono line over braid off the beach. And the rod I'm using is a Shimano Power Surf 12 foot 2 L, four to seven kilo. I like to use a real long rod holder to put me rod in when I'm fishing off the beach. So then your rod's up real high and it keeps your line over that first breaker. So it stops it from dragging in as much. Works well. How to find a good spot on the beach. See this beach here? It's just one gunner all the way along this beach. It's got no gaps in it where there's like just a hole, then break, then a hole. This one's just sort of just a gutter all the way along. But what I do when it's spots like this, I just find the spot where there's the most white water. Like just here, it's real washy. Compared to down there, there's no wash. But here there's plenty of waves always breaking into the um, gutter. So it's nice and washy, so that's where I fish. As you can see out here now, it's just washing, it's just coming all the way over the hole. That's where the fish will be hiding. Where if you look down to the left there, there's no wash. And down to the right there, there's no wash. But here, it's washy most of the time. So that's where I fish. It's a good indicator of how to find a spot where to fish. Here we go. Getting a bite now. Yeah, we're on to a fish. It's not very big, but we've got one. There we go there, nice little brim. We picked him up on the two inch rubber worm in the camo. Goes to show that the rubber worm does the trick. Works well. I actually lost the rest of me rig somehow. But we'll get him back in the water.
got one. Fish on. Tarwine this time. Last time we got a brim, this time we caught a tarwine. Nice little tarwine. Let's get him back in the water. Let's get it back out there, see if we can get another one. to a fish. It's a good fish too. I was just sitting there just looking around. I looked over and my rod was just bent in half. It's a dart. Just caught ourselves a dart. Nice little dart there. We caught him on the soft plastic this time too. A little Berkeley two inch camo worm. That's two fish on the worm and one fish on the real worm today. That goes to show you could just put a worm on each hook and just fish with them instead of bait. Look how shiny he is. Let's get him back in the water. So we've caught a brim, a tar wine, and a dart. Caught the brim on the soft plastic worm, and then the tar wine on real worm, and then the dart on the soft plastic worm. So it goes to show that those soft plastic worms work good, because I'm using a fake worm on the top hook, and real worm on the bottom, and I've caught more fish on the fake worm, the rubber worm, the soft plastic. So you could just fish with a soft plastic on both hook, hooks and catch whiting. Works really well. I've actually used like, they're only a two inch worm. I've used a six inch worm in the same color on the top hook and real worm on the bottom when I used to fish for dewfish off the beach, and I've caught some good dewfish on that soft plastic worm doing that as well. So it works very well. You don't actually need the real worm. You can just buy soft plastics and put them on. And they last ages too. So they definitely work good. Okay guys, if you like that video, hit the like button, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Sticky fishing fishing. Wow.